It is time for this week's Ask a Vet Your Well Pet, where we team up with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando to answer some common questions about our little loved ones. So joining us now is Dr. Don Keenan. She's the clinical vet from the Pet Alliance, as well as our little Daisy here. Thank you for being here, Thank as you. always. Okay, so doctor, just like with people, better medical care is helping dogs to live longer lives. So that's really good. But it also means an increased risk for heart trouble. So what are some of the big things we should know? Well, today we're talking about valve disease, which you usually is an issue in the smaller breeds and toy breeds mm. as they get older. It is a genetic issue um, that they develop as they age. The um, left side of the heart is usually affected, but it can affect the right side. And when you get more advanced disease, it can lead to fluid buildup in the lungs or sometimes even the abdomen. Hmm, okay, interesting. All right, so if we know that um, older dogs could be starting to have issues, how would you know? Would there be any outward signs that we should be on the lookout for? Well, initially, um, there wouldn't really be. You could hear a heart murmur, so that's why it's important to bring your dog to routine checkups with your veterinarian because they may be able to catch um, issues sooner yeah. rather than later. But when you get to more advanced disease, you may notice coughing and exercise intolerance. Yeah, I notice a theme with that. Asking your vet is always a good idea. So what about diagnosing this in particular? Um, are there any tests that they could, dogs can undergo, kind of the same as people? Yeah, so they'll do similar tests as people. X-rays and echo, which is an ultrasound mm -hmm. of the heart, are important tests to help diagnose the type of heart disease and the condition that it's currently in. Okay. Now, are there medications, things like that, that can help? Yeah, so this is a progressive disease. So as the valve worsens, the heart failure will get worse over time. Mm -hmm. But there are medications to help control the symptoms and improve the uh, pet's quality of life. Okay, very good information as always. So Dr. Keenan, thank you so much for joining us. If you want all of that information about heart health, we'll connect you to the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando through our website, clickorlando.com.